when you increase your value, you don't have to do what others do. Here's my example. So the big question is, what are the top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? If you ever thought about this, you're not alone. No one has been able to get the answers until now. We spent the last few years helping agents sell billions in real estate, rubbing shoulders with top producers, which got us thinking, how can we expose more people to these insights to help raise the standard in the whole real estate industry? We then realized that we could help bridge the gap by getting secrets from the best of the best so that you can succeed. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. And the other thing is, every single one of the people you've mentioned on like how to make a ridiculous amount of money and basically be a top producing realtor in your area, they're all free. They just take work. Like, this is crazy. Like, go and meet your hairdresser, go meet your accountant, you know, divorce lawyer, and no probate. All these guys, it's all free. Everything's free. And you could be, I can pretty much, I will guarantee, you know, <laughs> pretty much guarantee that if you did this and you built those relationships, you know, again, past podcasts, we talked about 10 relationships, 10. And if they each give you one a month, which is only 12 a year, which isn't a crazy amount, for example, a divorce lawyer, one a month from them, and you've got a relationship with five of them, and then say five barbers, hairdressers, whatever you want, and they give you one a month as well. Like you are a, like you're talking about, you're doing 10 to 12 a month. So you're doing 140 properties a year, just, you know, with this relationship that cost you sweat equity, taking them out for dinner, doing whatever you want, building that relationship. Uh, you know, I'm sure you've got strategies around that too. And, um, I never do dinner. Never do dinner. There we go. Don't do dinner. Paul says, don't do dinner. <laughs> now, so, so think about this now. So <clears throat> what you're saying is right. And this formula is one, two, three, four, five. It's actually 12. You said 10. We're on the same page, my man. Same page. But when you plug in the data for the waterfall, it'll tell you what you're going to close. That's what makes this so systematic and duplicatable. So for the sake of example, if you've got a divorce attorney who has one transaction a month, you know what the data looks like. You got a hairdresser that's going to talk to 100 people this month, and one of them is going to buy or sell a house or get married or get divorced. You've got what? You just look at the numbers. The data takes away the sensation where you wake up in the morning and you're scared. How are you going to get a buyer? How are you going to get a seller? You made 30 calls and you got nothing. Your wife is pissed off at you. What are you going to do? You can't feed the kids. That'll win. When you go back to the data, it removes emotion. So I, I marry data with possibility, right? So now when you're talking about this kind of stuff, here's how I see it. Most people think the opposite of what I teach, meaning people do business with people they get to know, like, and trust. I disagree. Oh my God, you controversial wacko. No, let me tell you why I disagree. <clears throat> here's what I believe. In analyzing thousands of people when I ask questions and take inventory, and they go to these networking functions, I ask them, how much business are you getting from people at that environment? And it's very few to nothing. So in reality, you invested time and money and energy away from the people you love to solicit strangers. You don't value yourself enough. When you increase your value, you don't have to do what others do. Here's my example. The reason I don't go to lunch breakfast, dinner, happy hour is because I love my wife more than you, period. And through the grace of God and prayer and immense amount of effort, I have created an environment that provides so much value that I don't have to take time away from my wife. And if you like me more than your wife, I got a divorce attorney for you. <laughs> well, that, was, that was awesome. That was awesome. Right? Something's wrong. Something's wrong. So my point to you is value yourself enough that if I'm standing on the altar saying, I will love you till death do us part, and then say, I got to go spend a lot of time with strangers, whoring myself out to get business, something's wrong with that equation. When you provide something of great significance, you don't need to do what others do. I always tell everybody, I'm going to teach you how to become a deli clerk. Work behind it. Wait a second, Paul, I want to be a realtor. No, 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 no. 
Don't get stuck in that title. I want to work at a deli counter. I don't know what it's like in the UK, but go to a deli counter in the food store on a Saturday. There's 30 people that took a ticket to get in line to get your T-bone steak. Be that deli clerk that has something so valuable, people take a number to get to you. That's the significance. That's why I don't need to do dinner. I love my wife more than you. It's not a mean thing to say. It's the reality of the situation. I now have to have something of greater significance that keeps me in her company and not yours. I like you, Andrew, so don't take offense to that. But <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? I think this is going to – I mean, Paul, we've uh, this has been by far our longest interview, so I think we're going to have to get you back on to I'm share sorry. even more stuff. I want to finish on – final note to cover off that topic. If anyone hasn't been, go to Cats in New York really famous deli place to do pastrami and corned beef sandwiches huge if you haven't heard about it and you know everyone in new york knows about it but they i, I mean i went middle of like not even middle of the day i went like late afternoon like four or five p.m because i was like no one's gonna be there man like it's not lunch anymore it's not dinner time like we're we're, we're gonna be fine go there round the block still queuing and every day they run out like every day and um, that's supply demand, right? Anyway, this is another story for another day. Paul, it's been immense to have you on. How can people get in touch, get your help, free, paid, tell the people? So the website is coaching for the number four, coaching for CEOs, not spelled out, just literally the number, coaching for CEOs. There's a tab on there. You can click, get more information. There's videos on there. Uh, we're posting things new. The site is relatively new. As I mentioned before, I've been doing this in my backyard. For a long time, we're now looking to take this to a much larger scale. And by the grace of God, you two gentlemen come into my life. And I believe when we marry what it is that we're doing, this goes to a bigger scale. I'm the guy with the yellow notepad. You know, I got a clipboard. I got yellow sticky notes. The social media, the technology has never been a strength of mine. I just learned to hire people where it is their strength and let them do what they do. And I just stay in my little lane. God said, Paulie, here is your gift. Don't cloud this gift with doing the stuff that you're not good at. I never focus on anything I'm not good at. Why? Makes me feel bad. My wife always tells me, you live in fantasy land. I know. It's wonderful here. I think I'm fantastic. I just stay where I'm good. So we just started to do the website, Coaching for CEOs. Um, Maybe I'll even, I don't know if I have my, I did one of my videos and I actually hold this up like I'm going to prison, but that's my cell phone number. So what's just go there, send me an email. Read out. What, what's your cell phone number? I tell people <laughs> so they can get. So it's eight five six nine zero five seven zero four zero. Get in touch. Reach out to yes, Paul. Sir. Coachingforceos dot com. Um, if you need any more help, Paul, thank you so much for jumping on with us today. You've given an immense amount of value. It's been incredible, and uh, we're going to get you on again for some more mic drops. Uh, thanks everyone for listening to this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode. Now, before you go, we're giving access to a private training we did where we revealed the top three niches to get listings today completely for free. So if you want access, you can go and download that training at EliteAgentSecrets.com. We're regularly releasing new trainings, guides, and cheat sheets. So make sure to head over to EliteAgentSecrets.com and sign up so you don't miss out.